Hello and welcome to my new tutorial, part 1 on how to make this cute teddy bear. In this video I'll show you how to make the head. So for this project you are going to need a plush uh, kind of polyester yarn. There are many brands that make these so you can choose whichever one. You will also need some cotton strings uh, that are a little bit stronger than the actual yarn for sewing parts of the teddy bear together. Then I'm using a 4mm crochet hook, some safety eyes, and needles to finish off the ends. So first we are going to start with a magic circle. There are a couple ways you can make a magic circle. This is how I do it. So I wrap around my fingers. On the bottom side it creates this kind of cross and from the top you have two strands of yarn. With your hook you go under, over the second strand, pull through, twist, and then you pull the yarn through with the hook in order to secure your magic circle. Straighten out the ends of the yarn and now you have your magic loop and you can crochet into it. And for the first round we are going to do six single crochet into the magic loop we just created. Once you have finished your six single crochets, you pull the end of the yarn and close the magic loop. In the second row, we will be continuing in the round and increasing six times. At this point, it's a good idea to use a marker. I'm just using a classic paper clip, but you can use any kind of markers they sell in the shops. And increasing means that we will be doing two single crochet into each loop from the previous round. At the end of the row, replace your marker. And this time we will be doing one normal single crochet, followed by one increase. That means one normal crochet, and then two into one, which is called an increase. At the end of the row you will have eight in stitches altogether. Row 4 is similar, we will just be increasing in all of these rows gradually. So this time we will be doing two single crochet and one increase. And repeat this six times again for a total of 24 stitches. In row 5, do 3 single crochet, 1 increase for a total of 30 stitches. And after this you can just follow the pattern that is written on the screen. In each row you are going to add a single stitch. So uh, now we are doing 3 single crochet, 1 increase. In the next row it will be 4 single crochet, 1 increase. And so on, all the way up to row 8.
Once you finish row 8, from rows 9 to 14, you will just single crochet around. So for the next 5 rows, just do single crochets. Once you're finished, it should look something like this, and it's time to place the eyes. The eyes will go between the rows 9 and 10, so you can count from the top, row 9, and place the eyes underneath that row. So you insert the eye and secure it from behind. And place the second eye four stitches away from the first one, again between rows 9 and 10. Then we can continue with the pattern. From row 15 we will be decreasing. So in row 15 you will do 6 single crochets and then decrease. A decrease means that you crochet 2 stitches from the previous row together. So as you can see I pull through, pull through the next one, and then pull the yarn through all 3 loops at the same time. And then again, six single crochet and decrease. At the end, we have a total of 42 stitches in this round. And you will follow the pattern all the way to row 18, where you have three single crochet, one decrease, and a total of 24 stitches. After that, you can cut the yarn, pull it through, and uh, stuff the head.
Make sure you put enough stuffing into the head so that it's firm and you can shape it uh, and it has this nice round kind of shape. Next we will be making the ears, so follow this part twice for each ear. And again we are starting with a magic circle. So as we did at the beginning, create a magic circle and then a single crochet eight into the magic circle or magic loop. At the end, pull the magic circle again to close it into the circle. And for round two, we'll be increasing in each of the single crochets from the previous row. So increase eight times for a total of 16 stitches. And sorry the video froze on me here so I don't have the ending of the ear, but once you finish round 2, continue with round 3 which is just 16 single crochets. And for round 4, you will do 3 single crochet, 1 increase and repeat this 4 times for a total of 20 stitches. And once you have your ears finished, you can attach them with the long end of the yarn that you used to make the ears. You need a large plastic needle for this part, or you can use a metal one, but I find that with the plush yarn plastic ones are better. The way I sew them on is I go through the ear with the needle at the bottom, then under a stitch on the head and then back through the ear to the other side and under a stitch on the other side of the ear. Okay. 
happy and next up I will be making the muzzle which I will make in white yarn and for this one we're not going to start with a magic loop but instead with a chain 7. So we make this loop, attach it to our hook and simply chain 7. In the first row, we will be beginning from the second loop on from our chain. So single crochet into the second chain, and then single crochet across back through the chain loops we just created. And for the muzzle, we will be crocheting around. So now we are doing one side, and then we will turn the work and crochet from the other side. Once you reach the very first chain, make three single crochets into it. Then turn your work around and make four single crochets from the other side. At the end you should have a total of 14 stitches in your round of the muzzle. For the second round you're going to chain one and then increase into the first stitch from the previous row. After that continue with four single crochets and three increases on the end. And once you've crocheted the edge, continue on the other side where you will make four single crochets. And then when you reach the second edge, you will finish with an increase twice. Overall, you should have 20 stitches at the end of this round. Start row 3 with once again chain 1 and increasing into the first stitch from the previous row. And for one side do 5 single crochets.
Once you reach the edge, continue with one single crochet and one increase and repeat this four times. On the other side, again you will do five single crochet and finish the row with an increase. For row 4, chain 1, increase into the first stitch and then 6 single crochet around and once you reach the second edge you will be increasing again with the pattern 2 single crochets, 1 increase which you will do 4 times all together. On the other side, finish with 6 single crochet and an increase. As for round 5, that is quite simple, all you have to do is 32 single crochets around. And that's the finished muzzle. You can cut the yarn and pull it through with your hook. Okay, so we have the eyes, the ears, and now I will be attaching the muzzle onto the bear. For this one, because it's a larger piece, uh, instead of sewing it on with the plush white yarn, or with the velvet yarn, I will be using the white cotton string that I was showing at the beginning, which is a lot stronger and less likely to rip during sewing. So I'm going to use a double strand of this string. And I make a knot inside the muzzle to secure the string. And for sewing it on, I will be continuing similarly as with the ears. So my starting point is at the bottom of the muzzle. And I go under a stitch on the head. And from behind of the muzzle, back down through it and under another stitch on the head. And I try to copy the shape of the muzzle that I would like to have on the bear, make sure it's even on both sides.
once you're almost finished, before closing the muzzle completely, leave a small little uh, hole, which we will use uh, to add the stuffing into the muzzle with. After you've stuffed the muzzle with the filling, you can finish sewing it and pull the yarn or the string out from the bottom part of the head. Okay, next up are the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm using again the cotton string and I will be making these tilted eyebrows. Make sure they start and finish in the same rows and you can kind of try them out so that you see what type of eyebrows you like the best for your teddy. At the end, just tie the strings together and pull them inside the head to hide the ends. Okay, and last thing we have to do is make the nose. For the nose I decided to use a black plush yarn, but you could also use the cotton one instead. But this one, because it's more fluffy, it's just easier and faster to make. So I make a knot and pull it through through the inside of the head. And now with the yarn, I will be making this triangular kind of shape for the nose. Going from one stitch to another. And 
once I have the triangle to even out the stitches at the top, I go across twice to hide the ends of the stitches. I also make a small knot to tie everything together at the bottom of the nose. And if you feel like you need to fill in any parts a bit more, feel free to add a couple stitches there. And the very last thing is the mouth, where you will just go down and pull a little bit to create the shape that you want. Once you're finished, tie the yarn and pull it through the bottom. And this is it, uh, the head part is finished. <laughs>